Now we'll use our 17 millimeter socket and take our wheels off. Okay, next I'm going to have to use a uh, trim tool and I'm going to have to take out a bunch of these expanding plastic rivets and then we're going to have to go under and use an 8 millimeter socket for all of these uh, multitude of screws holding on this lower belly pan. So all in all there's something like 22 to 24 screws um, and it, it'll vary a little bit depending on your model. On the driver's side, we'll have to remove the headlight leveling sensor from the arm, so we're just going to pop the uh, arm off of the ball socket, ball joint. So here we are under the car looking at the back side of the knuckle. Here's the lower control arm that we're going to have to remove. Um, so we're going to start by undoing this bolt holding the uh, control arm to the subframe. This is an 18 millimeter nut and bolt on the front. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to remove the ball joint from the knuckle. This is a 21 millimeter nut and uh, the counter hold on the post is a T40 Torx. So uh, there's a little bit limited access here for uh, X drive as you can see because we've got our CV boot right above it. Um, but you should be able to get a ratchet with a T40 bit in there and then you can either use an 21 millimeter open-ended wrench or just an adjustable open-ended wrench to spin off this nut. To loosen the 21 millimeter nut you can go ahead and use an impact but later you're going to have to counter hold it. So what we've done is we've stuck a socket with an extension from the top um, so that we can fit the impact in there and just get it a little bit loose. Uh, watch out for the brake sensor um, because you're going to have to thread around it. Okay, so now we're going to put the new arm in and we'll go ahead and slide it in from the bottom and then uh, we'll just get the new locking nut um, on a couple of turns. Once we've got the ball joint in a little bit, now we can go ahead and put the uh, uh, subframe side of the arm up in there put it in and then we'll put the 18 millimeter bolt in that gets entered from the front side of the car and the nut is on the back side. Now we'll use our open-ended wrench or 21 millimeter wrench and our T40 counter hold to uh, tighten the nut all, all the way onto the shaft. Now we're going to torque the subframe to wishbone bolt and this gets torqued to 100 newton meters or 75 foot pounds. Lastly, we'll go ahead and we'll tighten the uh, knuckle to ball joint lock nut, the 21 millimeter. And um, typically, this one's all, if you tighten it enough, then you won't need to counter hold it. And this one gets tightened to 175 newton meters or 129 foot pounds. Don't forget to put your uh, bottom cover mounts back onto the rails uh, next to the subframe bolt and the uh, protrusion or screw hole side of it points inwards towards the center of the car. Next, bolt up the 8mm screws to secure the bottom cover. These only need to be snug or hand tight. Finally, we can put our wheels back on and torque them down to 104 foot-pounds.